Many people are crediting the power of prayer for their survival. And for some, the storm has already altered their lives. Chris Hernandez takes us to a home where a couple face death and life. Well, Elizabeth, yeah, the uh, storm is altering lives in many ways. I talked with a couple this afternoon who survived this storm together, and it now appears that Mother Nature is helping strengthen their relationship. Paul to the bathroom and then crawled out. Kevin Woods and Jennifer Rivas show us what's left of his house. They first huddled in a hallway. I was doing some serious praying. And my 17-year-old was just crying, Mommy, I'm so scared. Then they crouched in the bathtub. Glass breaking and, and stuff tearing. and I think the thing that sticks out to me the most is the thunder. It was, just, it, was gra it was just growling and growling before the storm hit. The roof came off the house. The walls collapsed. They had his son and her daughter with them as the twister ripped the walls away. I, I don't know. They don't really have a plan. Don't really have a plan. Her home and her parents' home were also destroyed. For now, they'll stay with relatives in Fort Scott. Yeah. I can tell you that off in the distance there, we've still got a lot of rubble. You can see an American flag waving, and the wind is starting to pick up here. It's also getting colder in Joplin now because there is another storm approaching right now. And we were talking to city officials a short time ago. They're telling us that, yes, there are still a lot of search crews out in the field right now, but they are making plans to get those teams into shelters as this storm hits tonight. Reporting live in Joplin, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News. Hey, Chris, it looks like there's still a lot of people behind you who are out there either looking for something in their own homes or just kind of surveying the scene. Is it, is it difficult to get people to actually leave? I know you said there was going to be a curfew. Yeah, there is going to be a curfew. They, although that starts at 9, uh, the city officials are recommending that people take cover or, or leave the area so that they can take cover sooner than that because this storm is expected to roll in some. Those folks that you saw there uh, in some of this area, they were looking at a car that belonged to one of their relatives, and off in the distance, there's still a lot of people just looking for things in that area. I can see another firefighter over there, and it's just one of those things, Elizabeth, where people continue to dig through this because there are just so many pieces of their lives that are left here in the rubble, and they're literally searching for any little thing that they can take. I mean, I've seen people pick up the smallest pictures, photo albums, pots and pans from their kitchen, folding chairs, stuff that you might not normally want if you just saw it lying on the street, but when it's all you've got left after a tornado like this, it's something you want to take with you. Yeah, some kind of tie Absolutely. to your former life. Chris Hernandez, great job. Thank you.